So today I'm going to cover five tasks you can do virtually as a podcast VA while helping your clients produce, promote, manage their podcasts that will help them get their name out there, build their authority, grow their email list, and for them to get more clients. I'm Emily Reagan. I've been working in the online space for a decade. I've been what I call a unicorn virtual assistant doing a plethora of digital marketing tasks behind the scenes. So today I want to focus on the podcasting world because it is a unicorn skill set. You're doing a little bit of everything. You're bringing in your project management skills. You're bringing in your knowledge of digital media and online business to help clients move forward. The thing is the 80-20 rule, quite often clients start a podcast and they cannot keep up with the work that goes behind the scenes. Just starting it isn't enough. You've got to show up weekly, producing, writing, and promoting that podcast. And the whole goal is to get downloads, to increase your authority, visibility, be known as a industry leader and thought leader. And then also podcasts, there's opportunities for monetization, whether you're bringing in lead generation and clients for your client, or you're getting sponsorships and that kind of thing with your podcast. So we're gonna cover five different tasks you can do behind the scenes, and we're gonna start with pre-production. A podcast just doesn't show up, right? Somebody's gotta do the work, and that's the work behind the scenes in either scripting the podcast, scheduling guests, reaching out, guest outreach is what we call that, to get guests on the show. There's a lot of work just to get the podcast to the point where that episode is ready to record, and clients need as help as much help as possible behind the scenes. I've done this for clients as far as trying to schedule guests, try to organize when the interview will happen, trying to script out the actual podcast. Sometimes you're not doing the whole script because if it's a conversation, but you do need to get the bio ready, the headshots ready, questions ready, so your client could just show up for the recording and be ready to go. Um, I had a client where I would manage the lightning round at the end of the interview and ask fun questions to for the guests to kind of open up and do a lot of the background or research on the guest so that the interview goes as smooth as possible. Sometimes that podcast is a repurposed video, quite often a Facebook Live, so doing the work behind the scenes to get that video prepped and loaded so the podcast editor can take it and make it an episode. The big thing to know behind the scenes as a podcasting VA is that you need to be helping with a plan. Clients want you to show up in a big way and be their project manager, and you're stepping into the role of a podcast manager here. So you might start off doing certain tasks behind the scenes, and quite quickly, if you're a go-getter and you have that initiative and drive, you could be managing the whole project. So getting your client on a plan so they can batch those podcasts and save time, like have a dedicated day to record them, and really having a plan as far as content goes. So there's a lot behind the scenes when it comes to the podcast production and coming up with episodes and uh, show titles and all of that. But if you can kind of map out what the client's going to be covering, how does that fit in their business schedule, their launch schedule, and then also being able to like kind of document what you've done in the past. I like to have a spreadsheet with all of the past um, podcast episode numbers, titles, and guests so the client can and the podcast host could easily reference all of that. So that is just pre-production. The second one I want to talk about is post-production. So after your client shows up and does the recording, whether it's a solo episode, a panel, or a one-on-one interview, that recording gets dumped in the right folder right? And it's quite often it's handed off to a person who is a podcast editor who just does the production of that, but they need somebody who's going to manage it and make sure the files are in there and help the team do their work. Sometimes your post-production can include finding the sound bites that will be used on in audiograms and the marketing messages for social posts, being able to listen to that show and pull out the right kind of content to be repurposed in other areas. Sometimes a podcast editor will do that, but quite often we need more of a manager of the podcast to do that, and that's where a podcast VA can step up into this role. Writing show notes is also really, really helpful. We all have good intentions as a podcast host, but when it comes down to the timing factor, if you've just recently listened to the episode, it will be quite easy for you to extract the key information information to make those show notes. And then, like I said, to be able to repurpose it in those other places. So post-production is really about staying organized and moving it along so it's ready to be published. 
Which brings me to step three, which is publishing. This is 100% a task that the podcast host will be handing off. You will basically, after that podcast has been released on a podcast platform, something like Lisbon or Anchor, you take that code and you embed it on the right website. Not every podcast host has a dedicated website, but usually there's some kind of blog where the episode is released and somebody's got to format that. Somebody needs to do the feature images, put the embed code, do some of the formatting and SEO, all of the relevant links or whatever, email content upgrade is the next thing. That is 100% a good VA task, and it can open the doors to a lot of other things when it comes to content marketing and working on the back end of a website. All right, the fourth area we get to is promotion. Sometimes we love it, sometimes we hate it, but this has a lot to do with email marketing, social media. So if you're already doing some of the post-production in step two, which we talked about, you'll quite naturally flow into this area where you can help your podcast host client get more downloads, more reach, more visibility, more views, all of that, right? We want to get traffic to the podcast page, preferably their own website where they own the tracking code, the Google Analytics, the Facebook Pixel, and all of that, and trying to drive traffic there through social media, email marketing, and all of that. Promotion is such a key thing, and it's so timely. And by the time we've gotten to this point where we're ready to produce, the podcast host is way on to episodes in the future. So they've already kind of forgotten what they've been talking about. So they really need you to step up as a VA and give them good content, maybe give them some talking points so they can promote it in their stories and all of that. So promotion is really important. We don't just show up and produce the podcast and release it, and we don't build it and they'll come. We actually have to remember to promote it to get those downloads. And more downloads means a stronger funnel, better opportunities for monetization, making money. All right, step five, guest follow-up. 100% you could do this as a podcasting VA. You just need to have some social graces, right, and ability to email and write. Uh, your job should be to feed all of the podcast guests after their episode has been released, giving them the show link, any kind of graphics, talking points, audiograms, so they can then promote the show themselves. There's nothing worse than being a guest on a podcast and never knowing when it got released. So you can do that guest follow-up. You're representing the brand when you send those emails. You can send a little thank you. I was on a podcast once where she sent coffee mugs to everyone. So of course her VA team is in charge of mailing that thank you gift out. I've done gift cards before, like a, a, a free coffee at Starbucks kind of thing to thank my guest. So that kind of follow-up is really important for um, promoting the podcast, but also representing the brand and just really, you know, staying top of mind with the guests. Because a lot of podcasting is about networking, so you want to show good face all the way through the process, not just the part where you got the recording and the thing that you need. Following up so then they can put that on their website and share to their fans is going to get you more social media uh, followers and more downloads of your episode. All right, those are five steps to being a podcast VA. You could plug yourself in any one of these areas and start expanding and getting experience doing this. Let me recap them. We have pre-production, post-production, publishing, promotion, and guest follow-up. You could do this. You do not need a rocket science brain to do it. It's really about taking the work off your client's shoulders and handling it. They want to know they can trust you to follow through and make sure all of the steps get executed and that it's a repeatable process. So this is a very, very, very fun work, in my opinion, because every week it's a little different. You have tangible results. Kind of reminds me when I worked in a newspaper and every week we had our, our tabloid, we had our weekly, and it felt so good to have that thing in our hands and be like, look what we did. A podcast is like that too. And then quite quickly you're moving on to the next one. So, you, so the content wheel never stops, and that's why the podcast host needs somebody like you who is smart, tech savvy, can think on their feet, and who can get things done. If you'd like to know more about working online, I encourage you to join my Facebook group. I'll put the link right here. You can also find me on Instagram, and I have a free webinar, How to Work Online, that will open your eyes to different roles business owners are hiring in the online space and how you can start working with clients, getting paid for real work, legit work, while working from home. All right, subscribe to our channel for more insider info in the digital space. Bye.